in this video we discuss about the fuel pump and the puncture valve and how it is working let's consider the fuel pump of bosch jerk type which is mainly used in man bmw engines in this uh, highlighted portion of the inside the box we see the cam follower and the fuel cam and which is enlarged at the beside of the main fuel pump picture let's uh, start to talk about the fuel pump this pump consists of a cam operated single acting plunger as you see that in the picture which is mentioned as the uh, arrow with the plunger written it is a mainly a fixed stroke single acting plunger which has a helical spring fitted to return the plunger on its down stroke and maintain a contact of follower on the cam let's we consider the details description of a fuel pump about and its parts let's we consider the barrel the barrel is fitted inside the fuel pump it works as a casing of the plunger the plunger reciprocate in the barrel located in the pump body and the helix we as you see that the cursor movement the helix is machined on the plunger when the uh, plunger is moved down and the spill ports on the barrel open and full uh, flows into the barrel this is the spill port here is a two spill port one is this side and this is uh, other side one of the spill ports is used as a suction of the fuel pump and other is used for the return of the fuel pump as you see that the spill port is machined on the barrel it is looks like if you consider is a engine engine then the barrel is the cylinder and the plunger is the piston just like that next we see that non return valve when the fuel pump operating and the pump uh, and the pumping the uh, fuel is started during this time the pump when the fuel has the pressure it has a certain level which is overcome the spring force of the non return valve then the high pressure fuel it uh, pushes the non return valve against the spring force and the non return valve and open and start to flow the high pressure fuel into the fuel injector next we see that the rack and pinion arrangement of the for the barrel and the plunger it is two rack and pinion arrangement is mainly when you use the vit one for quantity control and one for timing control the rack and pinion arrangement for barrel it is mainly used for quantity control how it is by the movement upward and downward of the barrel we can control the quantity of the fuel during the pumping and the rack and pinion arrangement for plunger by movement the plunger downward or upward we may control the timing in early injection or late injection late now we see that the puncture valve which is fitted in the top of the cover of the pump it is operated in the vent event of the actuation of the shunt down system during the air start sequence or when the excessive leakage is detected from the double skin fuel pipes or during the reversing of man bmw engines to vent the fuel pump and this is the return line when the puncture valve is operating the high pressure fuel goes return back to the suction side of the fuel pump now we see the working of the fuel pump let's we consider the button dead center its mean when the plunger is a, a fuel cam is rested on the base circle of the fuel uh, fuel uh, when the, uh, the fuel cam follower is rested on the fuel cam then we see that this scenario that this spill port is open and the fuel is start filling into the barrel next we see the when the uh, start to rise up the plunger means the upward now movement of the plunger this time the spill port is closed and the certain amount of quantity of fuel is already inside the barrel and up to when the plunger is moved upward it start to pressurize the fuel pump at this sudden time when the fuel pressure is increased and goes greater than the spring force of the non return valve then the non return valve is opened and 
who will start to flow through the side of the spring loaded non return spring loaded non return valve and goes to the fuel injector next we see that after sudden movement when the fuel camp follower start goes down from the camp circle to the base circle then the helix is made created a clamp path with this path spill ports the for the return of the oil during this time the upper part of the plunger of the fuel has a high pressure and this spill port side has the low pressure with the whole all the fuel pump start to goes through the helix to this spill ports of the return side as a result the pressure of the fuel is decreased and the spring force is now greater than the fuel pressure then the non return valve is shut and the pumping is stopped it is the how it is working of the fuel pump of both injector type next we see that fuel fuel pump is working there is a reciprocating plunger is already situated in the barrel during the reciprocated it motion there is a chance of leaking of the high pressure fuel oil on the outside of the fuel pump for this cause we need sealing this is the fuel pump umbrella seal which is used in the both jet type fuel pump which is which is worked to maintain in the sealed of the high pressure side of the fuel pump there is also a drain if the seal is not working properly not working then through the drain the fuel start to leak then in, on the uh, plunger on the on the side of the plunger then we see that the the seal is not working and the sudden amount of fuel through side the sealing of the drain line start to drain during when the opening when we start to open the umbrella seal and the overhauling of for the uh, overhauling of the umbrella seal or cleaning for cleaning purpose during this we use the drain and for the by this drain we drain, drain all the fuel from the inside next we see that the damper spring loaded damper which is mainly fitted on fitted the side of the pump connected through the suction side of through to the suction side of the pump this is damp the pressure fluctuation of the high pressure fuel spills back at the end injection because when the plunger helix is maintain created a clear path then a sudden a high pressure fuel is a you know, go to the low pressure side as the reason there is a pressure shock is created if there is a damper is not there is a chance of the a high pressure shock and the maybe chance of the crack of the fuel pump body to reduce this we use this damper during this one of the when the helix is created the path for the high pressure fuel pump goes to the return back to the suction side this up uh, now piston of the spring low which is spring on uh, rested on the spring which is uh, moves backward and the high pressure fuel is is damped and the pressure of a sudden pressure is maintained and the pressure fluctuation of the pressure shock does not created by the using of this damper now we consider the working of the puncture valve now we consider when is now when we try to stop the fuel pump or the stop the engine now we use this puncture valve when the compressed air is admitted the piston as you see that the piston goes downward goes down and um, goes downward and it is when it goes downward it pulls the puncture valve against the spring and the puncture valve is opened as the puncture valve opened we see that the as the puncture valve open the high pressure fuel oil gets a clear path of the low pressure zone through the low pressure zone then all the fuel of high, high pressure fuel start to flow through this so puncher valve and go back through the return line go back to the suction side of the fuel pump as a result the pressure inside the fuel injector is reduced for this cause the reduced pressure fuel does not able to open the needle valve and the fuel, inj fuel injection does not happen for this cause 
that fuel engine stops after some time